Hey guys, welcome back to Music Talk with John. Today I'm going to tell you about a little trip I took to a um, thrift store out in Gibsonton, Florida. It was a little impromptu trip. We were out in the area that's about a about an hour away from my house, and uh, we were leaving an appointment and uh, had a little bit of time and saw this little uh, thrift store on the side of the road, so decided to stop in there and take a look around. And uh, this place had a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, I almost had a headache trying to absorb it all. Um, so they have a lot of stuff. This is called um, Casey's, let me get it right. Um, Casey's Thrift Store, I think. Casey's Closet, okay. And what I, uh, I looked at there, they're on Facebook and I checked them out and uh, it looks like the place is named after a, a family dog and uh, the dog passed away about 10 years ago and they still have posts about this dog. So this must have been a very, um, uh, they must have been very fond of this dog, I'm assuming. So um, it looks like it's a family run business. Um, I'll leave some links in the description below if you're in Gibsonton, Florida. I don't know where you guys are, but this is, that's where the place is. Um, but they had just everything in there. And of course, I'm gonna talk about the music stuff that I found. The employees seem nice. I don't know if those were the owners it looks like it's family owned, but I don't know if the, that was the owners or not, but they were very friendly. Um, interesting conversation I heard going on while I was looking around. There were two guys in there and they were talking about a uh, cooking unit or something. And they were asking the, the lady behind the counter, like, if, uh, you know what this is? And she's like, uh, I don't know. And they were like, um, it's, a, it's a cooking unit. I forgot what they called it, but it was, uh, they said they'd used it in prison. And he said, yeah, we use this in prison, it was very popular. And, you know, the lady's like, oh, okay, thanks. She's very nice, you know, and they were nice. It was just a interesting conversation to, to hear about. Um, so, but a very friendly place, very welcoming. Um, but like I said, there's so much, anything you're looking for between furniture and everything, books, folders, whatever, it's, it's there. So what I saw as far as music wise, um, there were cassettes. There was one pile of cassettes where it was just, they were kind of just stacked in there and thrown. Um, they must just get a lot of stuff because there's just stuff everywhere. Um, I would call it a messy organization because you could see where everything was. And it, they had them together as far as um, books and records and tapes and stereo equipment. It was together, but it's just crazy everywhere. Um, so anyway, the, there was a stack of tapes in a container and I didn't really look through that too much. I saw like a Neil Diamond and some other stuff, so I didn't take too much time to look through that. And then there was another little container, a little more organized um, with some cassettes in there. I did a brief look, nothing I was really interested in. Um, they had a couple units as far as to play music. There was a Hitachi, which was kind of cool looking. It was had a silver front, I like those, but um, it had a tape player, but a couple of the, the buttons, they had a little pull out the buttons that come out and you press them down. Those were broken off, so um, I didn't really go much further as far as checking that out, but it was a, it was a neat looking unit. Um, and if you have the skills to fix it, I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, but this is a Hitachi, has the tape player, has an eight track on it, had a record player, and it was a stereo. So it looked pretty neat. Um, so if, you, if you have, you're me mechanically inclined or whatever, know how to do that, it might be a pretty cool unit. Um, then they had a Sony Mega Storage. I have a couple friends that like those. It's a Mega Storage for CDs. Um, I don't remember how many it held, but I think those hold up to 200 or something like that. I could be wrong on my number, but um, they had one of those. And then there was a Techniques uh, Disc Changer. It was a 60 plus one. So how does that work? 60 plus one, you put 60 and then one playing, I don't know. Anyway, it's a 60 plus one. And then I got to, that was in one room all the way on the far side. I walked through um, and went into another area and I found all the albums. And as you'll see here, um, yeah, it's a typical, it's like this is where every thrift store album went to, to for its final resting place. There were some albums in here that were in really rough shape. They were rotted out. You can see there's some water damage on them. They weren't very well taken care of. There were box sets and things like that. You know, I searched through all of them, but there's really nothing that I was interested in. It's still that, you know, the stuff that's just gotta kinda go. It's, um, you know, your Mitch and your Engelberts and your, you know, all, all that. Um, there were some uh, soundtracks, like musicals and things like that. So I went through everything in there and checked it out, um, but just didn't walk away with anything there. You know, I was hoping to find at least one thing, but um, 
I don't even know if I would have found something in there that it would have been in um, good enough shape for me to want to keep. So um, just wasn't for me. So um, if you're into that type of music and uh, maybe looking for albums to display or something, if that's there. Um, one thing I found very interesting is how they kept their CDs. And I'll show you a picture here. Um, I don't even know how you would go through this to look at the CDs. Um, I found it, I kind of laughed. I couldn't believe how they had it. And I don't know if they're going to put them somewhere else or if that's just how they always keep their CDs. But I found it, I didn't see CDs anywhere else in the store. But as you see in the picture, um, they were in a grocery cart, just stacked, piled, stacked in, the, in there. And I don't even know what kind of condition they would be in, especially the ones on the bottom of that thing. Um, just crazy. Two grocery carts just full of, of, of CDs. And the ones I kind of just browsed through along the top were nothing I'd be interested in. Um, but who knows what was in there. But there's no way I'm going to go through that and take the time to check that thing out. It was crazy. So anyway, it was, it was like I said, it's a nice place. Um, it's a thrift store. So, you, you know, you got good, bad, you know, um, damaged. But some people fix things up and whatever. So um, it was a nice place. And like I said, the employees are very nice out there. So if you're ever out in, in Gibsonton, Florida, uh, go check out Casey's Closet. So um, that's what I have for you today. Kind of a quick one, but I just wanted to share it with you. I was able to just get a couple shots and some video while I was there. But um, that's what I have for you guys today. So um, you guys take care out there. So until next time, you guys enjoy your music and uh, you uh, take care. All right. See you later. Bye.